Hey guys, what's going on? I know I said I was going to start doing videos in the house and all that. My little uh, condominium mansion place, but um, I decided to go out for a while. Same location as always, so don't bother asking where I'm at. So, uh, just finished going to Dairy Queen. I literally look like shit. The turtle does very good shit. I suggest you try it out if you got the money. And I actually was going to do a video on this. I did it on my Nintendo fan page and I finally found it. <laughs> Our idiot brother. Throw away. Bye bye. <laughs> this tooth. Definitely get it. So with that shit set aside, you know, I'm um, make this a very quick movie review. I know I said I was going to do any until at least November, December-ish, but uh, came out with the money. Don't ask me how I got it or where it went or why, but um, yeah, got it. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully I'm not too close to the camera, so let's get a start. Our idiot brother, the dude is with Paul Rudd. And a lot of the other girls are just in girl drama movies, which I really don't know about, but I really don't give a shit about. <laughs> so fuck that. Sorry, ladies, I'm just not a feminine dude. But, um, yeah, like, let's let's talk about it, you know? Let's talk about what's going on. Besides all that, you know, um, our idiot brother, too. Real funny dude. I saw him in that movie with Jack Black and that other dude. I still don't know his name. He was from Superbad. Not Seth Rogen, but the other dude. I'm fucking trying to remember the goddamn name. Something Evan or something. Oh, Michael Sarah. Yeah, he was in that one with them. He was also in um, Dinner for Smuts with uh, Steve Carell. If any of you guys watched The Office, which I'm not a big fan of, but his movies are better. If you saw Crazy Stupid Love, then um, you know what I'm talking about. So uh, this is actually the second time today I'm making a video. <laughs> this is for my CG09 channel, not my Nintendo fan channel. So yeah, she subbed to that one. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Anyways, so I had to stretch my neck out. It's been killing me for days. Don't ask me why, once again. <laughs> but yeah, you know, um, it's a real funny show. Well, not show, movie. Um, it's about this guy. He names his, um, it's about this guy named Ed or Al or something. I'm not sure what his name was. Ned. But, like, he's, um, he sells marijuana and shit, and then, like, he goes to jail, and after that, like, he, they take his dog, Willie Nelson, away from him. I don't know why he named it that. And, uh, yeah, you know, long story short, short, he helps his three sisters out. He puts them through goodness, and then he puts them through hell, but at the end of the day, the whole family gets along, and they love each other, you know? <laughs> it's really not a family movie. It's more like a teen adult movie, so uh, don't bring your kids to this one. Or Colombiana. I was going to do a review on that, but didn't have enough money. Apparently I was broke. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to do another like movie review on a new movie that's coming out next week, September 2nd. Um, Apollo 18. It's very amazing. I suggest you go check it out if you're in the sci-fi or horror action flick. So uh, yeah, uh, looks like a five star already. But uh, yeah, I had to stretch it out again. And had this fucking knot in my goddamn fucking neck. <laughs> Sorry for the profanity, but hey, it is what it is. But um, yeah, with all that set aside, long story short, they do have bloopers at the end. He meets this other dog named, um, what's her name? Dolly Parton. So they were like two country stars <laughs> that were a long time ago. They were famous. They still are. They're legends now. <laughs> Not like Carrie Underwood and Taylor Swift. Those are all pop shit. But uh, yeah, you know, go check it out. Make you laugh your ass off. You know, LOLs and all that shit. You know, real funny movie. If you're in a bad mood, this will cheer you right up, man. Actually, if you're drunk or stoned or something, it's very funnier. And you know, funnier is even a word, but uh, yeah. But all that set aside, as far as YouTube world, you know, I know I missed a lot of shit like that Casey Anthony case, the who, who, Jose Valles, you know, the Cuban dude, he was pretty cool. But, um, you know, as far as me thinking if she's guilty or not guilty, I think the bitch is just straight up guilty. <laughs> I'm not going to say right now why they said she was not guilty because, you know, da -da -da, I'm in the suburbs. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, anything else bad happening? Oh, the burned dog, you know, rest in peace to all the burned dogs that got hurt in India and shit. I know I talked a lot about Libya and everything. Gold and silver, you know, I'm not talking about it too much on this channel like I used to. <laughs> since I have more followers and more subscribers, so... Uh, Hopefully you don't get the wrong impression of me that I'm crazy or psycho. I am very straight, very, very calm, down to earth, smooth guy. A big ass fucking airplane in the way. Ruined my video. But, uh, you know, let's see how long this has been going on. Five minutes. So, uh, I'm going to wrap this shit up. 
I'm going to take too much of your time, 20, 30 minutes. Um, besides anything else going on, I'm not really sure. Oh, I want my homeboy, Fade Holy Soldier. I haven't talked about him in a long time. Or Ginarella, you know. Real cool people. Another caller. God damn, I do not have ADD people, all right? So, uh, what was I saying? But yeah, Fade Holy Soldier. Um, he's actually talking about these bad shit that happens in the South. Hey, you know what? I'm not from the South. If any of my fans or my subs are, you know, hey, it's all good. <laughs> Not every dumbass from the South. East Coast, West Coast, the South, North. Everyone in the world can be a dumbass, smartass, you know? But, um, yeah, you know, with all that put, put aside, yeah, I'm just going to wrap this shit up. Oh, as far as the two stories that he was talking about, he was talking about this dude, he killed his grandma over a fucking Halo 3 game. This is the reason why I was never into Halo, because that has a lot of bad reputation. You know, it has bad reps. The only one good thing I would have probably accepted about Halo, besides Halo Wars, is probably not the Halo Reach, but that other one. Fuck. I'm trying to remember what the hell the goddamn name was. Oh, that's right. Um, the vehicles and all that. You know, the first person shooter, I didn't start getting into that until Call of Duty, Portal, well, Call of Duty Black Ops, Portal 2, Left 4 Dead 2, fucking Killing Floor. You know, I talked about that shit a lot. And what else? Oh, yeah, um... I was actually watching it last night, for real good shit, you know? Oh, um, VCR or something, Counter-Strike, that's what it was. So, um, you know, give big props, reps to them, and uh, I will see you when I see you. And shout out to Machine Room, bro. You know, they got a billion views, but hey, it is what it is. All right, so I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm getting tired as hell. I'll be back in the mansion in like at least two hours, so, um, Follow me Twitter, Facebook, X, Fire, Steam, you know the deal, right? Later. Peace.